Hey gang, I just want to give you a quick walkthrough and tour of a Windows 8.1 operating system. As we said before, this was a drastic change from any other Microsoft operating system. This doesn't look like any other Microsoft operating system. So this was mainly supposed to be meant for a mobile device and a touch screen. So these tiles right here, like mail and calendar, all those are supposed to be touch applications, but they actually uh, migrated it to a PC format and a lot of people weren't necessarily uh, happy about that and didn't really like it. They didn't really think it was user friendly, especially um, when Microsoft is known for the start button. And as, as you can see, there is no start button here. It says start up here, but that's not a button that you can click. So whenever you're on a Microsoft machine, the first thing you look for is the start button. There is no start button, but there are is these little apps so these apps these little live tiles as they call them in the metro user interface so the metro ui is what this is so all these are little live tiles you can click on them you can do things right then this little down arrow right here will show you all the apps that are on your actual machine so we got food and drink we got internet explorer something that looks familiar we got OneDrive and a bunch of other apps but like i said actually if you just took uh, device or something right out the box you will have a hard time you'll probably be, be, uh, get on Google immediately to try and figure out how the hell do I navigate this or like I said there's some people that love Windows 8 uh, it's not that many of them but um, it's some people that really enjoy it because like I said it's a for tablets or a touch screen it's a lot more intuitive as opposed to a PC so one thing um, that's different on this is the charms bar so if we go up here a little bar will pop out I got search share hope oh, finally we finally found the start button so there is the start button now if you don't know exactly how to get to that it's gonna be difficult if you are on a tablet that has a touch screen you just swipe swipe to the left and then it'll pop out for you if you are on a PC you have to drag the mouse to the top right and then drag it down and then it'll pop out if you didn't know that which you probably don't um then um you have a rough time and then you know people can say hey, it's in the user manual but nobody really reads the manual especially if um it's something okay i'm tech savvy i know what i'm doing Pfft, you you have to break the manual probably to figure that out either break out google or break out the manual so let's go ahead and click that bam here it is this is something that we're a little bit more used to we got our taskbar we got our time we got our sound we got our background bam now it looks a little bit more familiar okay so this was a super quick walkthrough of windows 8.1 tell me what you think have you used 8.1 do you like it do you enjoy it um do you think this would be an upgrade or a downgrade even though it's not gonna be covered on the exam windows 10 actually did a really good job of integrating the old with the new so on windows 10 if you go to the start button the normal stuff will pop up but also these little tiles will pop up as well and i think that was a better implementation as opposed to just a full-blown uh app experience anyway this is a quick walkthrough hopefully you guys enjoyed it and other than that i'll see you in class